already we have seen in the random forest when uh, when we will, when we have when we have uh, uh, learned the random forest then we have seen that to build a random forest the time taking to build a time taking the to time to train the random forest models train that is taken to build a a random forest models it is simple order of n log order of n log n d this uh, into m and this means this times means what actually we have already we have already known that for a single decision tree we have already know for a single for a single decision tree the time actually takes the for a single decision tree the time actually takes is order of to build to make a single decision tree the time actually takes order of d, order of n log n d that's time actually taking and actually in gradient boosted decision tree we have m number of such decision tree so the total time the total time actually we need order of n log n d into m so here m is the number of base learners and uh, this n log n is to train a single decision tree to train a single decision tree that's actually so in a random forest what we have doing in random forest if you remember in random forest we have a data sets d and we have splitting this data set randomly was d1 d2 d3 up to sample we have built we have splitting this data up to dk and by using this data we have built our base models m1 m2 m3 up to mk using this data sets we have built. and typically typically all typically we have seen that these models these models are independent each other independent each other because of this because it is independent each other we can easily it, it paralyze this thing so it is trivial trivially paralyzable it is trivially paralyzable these models but the main problem of the gbdt gradient boosted decision tree or simply gbdt the main problem of this thing of the gbdt is it is not easy tax it is a not easy tax to make its parallelizable we will see why why these things happen for a gbdt analyzable so we will see these things so now let's see how why these things actually in gbdt why these things actually is not a easy task to make it parallelism so so in gbdt in gb what we are doing in gbdt we have built the gbdt at initial stage as initial stage i am calling it as stage zero that is initial stage at stage 0 we have built our model m0 and after that after building this m0 models we are we are built a data set we are built the data set suppose let's take we have built the data one because we have already since to train these models we have actually actually we have the data which look like that xi pair of data xi yi where i is coming from 1 to n and at the using these models 
we have calculated the error i and by using this error i we have again built the data x i error i i is equals to 1 to n and by using this data we have built at stage 1 at stage 1 we have built the model m1 okay and uh, again by using these models we have calculated the error i we have predicted the this error i and sample the uh, using this error i we have again building our data set 2 and using this data set 2 again we have at stage 2 we have built our model 2 we have model build our model 2 and similarly in these models we have also predict the error and uh, again we have built the data set data 3 the same things the same repetitions are going up to stage m stage and in this stage uh, up to stage up to stage m okay i am taking the base learners m we okay, don't be confused model m and n so m of i am taking a number of base learners number of base learners here m this m means number of base learners number of base learners this m means okay this capital m means so these models actually at the end of the day we have to calculate these models so we have see, we have seen that if you just seen that each stage is depend on the previous stage because at the initial stage we have calculated the data one and on the using this data one we have built this m1 and by m1 models by in at the m1 with the help of m1 we have built the data two and using this data two we have built the model 2 similarly for m of m of m m of at the end of the day we have to build the model that models is built the data set that will helps to build the end models that come from the previous stage so it is not an easy task because of this it is not an easy task to build this gbdt parallelizable okay so because of these reasons because of these reasons GVDT take more time to train to train than the regular random forest. Then the regular random forest because of these things and uh, because of these things is not it is not an easy task is not easy task to make paralyzable to make it paralyzable Okay, because of these reasons, it is not an easy task. And now the now the now the thing is that how much how how much the runtime complexity of a GPT. So now the what is the runtime complexity for the GPT? -T? So so if you just remember the random forest. Just compare through the random forest in compare in the random forest how much take time actually would take uh, how much time actually it is need to run a random forest model we have already seen this run time each simple order of depth of the decision tree into number of base learners okay number of base learners and and the the, the and the thing is in and already we have seen in gbdt the depth is small than the random forest in gbdt this depth in gbdt this depth this depth is smaller than regular random forest 
okay so if it is smaller then uh, then from random forest the run time is obviously obviously run time complexity is smaller than the regular random forest so so because this thing because of this thing it is smaller because it is small in gradient boosted it takes less time it take less time than regular random forest okay and um, mainly mainly these gbdt are mainly used in to build a low latency model low latency and high accuracy okay so mainly in an in internet company mainly in internet company they are have a, a large amount of data huge amount of petabyte amount of data so and uh, they are also interested to build a low latency model on that on that situations gbdt is very very useful internet company to build a low latency model it is very very useful <coughs> by simple doing the uh, by simple the another important thing is here we are easily minimizing the any kind of loss fund any kind of Obviously, any kind of uh, person, the conditions is that it must be differentiable. It must be differentiable. Okay. So, this is the main conditions. So, this is the main advantage uh, for building low latency models and uh, you, uh, by simply instead of using regular uh, random forest if we using the gradient boosted decision tree the runtime complexity will be so smaller because the um, the in gbdt decision tree depth of the decision tree is smaller than the regular um, reg uh, random forest decision tree okay because of these reasons now coming to the space complexity what is the space complexity reserve? already we have seen in um, regular random forest the space complexity is actually required in the uh, order of that is we have to store the h tree we have to store h tree plus into h tree plus we have to store the number of value gamma m this capital gamma m gamma n uh, this capital uh, gamma m this gamma m means what this is the gamma m means simple the, this is gamma m means um, uh, simple this gamma m the uh, the the gamma m means i think it will be the um, so this gamma m is simple this gamma is simple nothing this is the coefficient of our base learners so we have to store the age decision tree age decision tree as well as we have to store the age age coefficient of this age decision tree so simple this gamma m simple the coefficient of of base learners this thing this thing we have to store okay and uh, simple uh, and uh, the, the space complexity is similar as the regular for, um, regular random forest that's actually we have seen these things and i uh, mean i mean the advantage of the gbtt is runtime complexity it is lower than it is the smaller than the, it is low it is the smaller than the regular decision tree but trading time and space time complexity as similar to our regular uh, random forest decision. okay this is the main advantage of it I think the the runtime, the runtime, space time, and trading time complexity is uh, idea is clear. It is the most uh, actually it is similar kind of thing. Actually, it is similar kind of thing uh, as regular random forest. But the advantage it it's 
uh, its runtime complexity. Because of this, because it is runtime complexity is lower than the regular random forest decision tree, because of in, in, in GBDT, we have using the less small number of decision trees. Actually, the depth of the decision tree is smaller than the regular uh, uh, random forest decision tree. Because of that, this is the main advantage. Uh, in many internet companies look like Google, Amazon, Microsoft, uh, and elsewhere, where they have the lots of lots of gigabytes of data, lots of lots of petabytes of data. And uh, they are also interested to build a low latency models. In such scenario, this uh, GBDT is most most useful algorithm. I think the I main idea of the GBDT, how the actually the internally it works, what is actually intuitions and how these things actually uh, handle the parameters and uh, when these things actually work properly. I think this thing, the I main concept, uh, main idea is clear all of you. Okay.